Tampa. Welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are all doing well. I am jumping right back into filming and we are doing another episode of our Eco Lifestyle LP. I hope you guys are really looking forward to this episode. I know I am because with how well Plopsy was doing, ooh girl, I'm excited for Zayden to start making some things to sell. So if you guys haven't already, please hit subscribe and let me know what you guys think in the comments below. And with all that being said, let's get to it. Okay, dokie, we have a very, very sad Adeline. So I'm gonna let her go fertilize her bush. We have a fridge and a TV, I think. No, just a fridge that needs to be fixed. So let's get Zayden to come over here and repair our fridge. And I'm going to put this garbage pile in the inventory. I fabricated something cool for you last weekend because I think you're pretty cool. Can I come in and show you? Um, of course. Um, invite in. I'm gonna have Lexi invite her in because I do think that Lexi and her are the ones that are kind of friendly. Uh, you know, now that I'm pretty much done with what I wanted to do here, do you mind if I hang out for a bit? A bit? How was your day? Aww. What did she give us? An eco upgrade part? That is so nice of her. Those are a pain in the butt to make, so you will not hear me complain about that. Aww. So that's really nice that Tina Tanker did that. If you guys didn't see last week's episode, we have cute, adorable little huts, which I am so excited for. Um, that made me very happy. Um, Adeline peed herself. I guess she didn't make it to the bush. So she's in the shower right now, super embarrassed. Um, these guys only have $46 right now. Uh, we do have two items for sale on Plopsy, but we don't have any offers yet. So I think what we're going to do right now is we are actually going to travel over to the makerspace. Maybe Isla will be here too. Oh, Tina Tinker came with us. Ooh, nobody's here yet. Okay, I'm gonna have him come over here and fabricate. I'm gonna have him do a bunch of fabrication and then I will catch up back with you guys because it's kind of boring to watch and it does take quite a bit of time to make these eco upgrade parts that we need for our windmills. Um, so I'm gonna do that quickly and then like I said, I will catch back up with you guys in a moment. I do want him to start fabricating furniture and stuff for the house, but the thing is, is that right now, getting our ability to sell power back to the company is more important than what they're sitting on. Um, speaking of which, oh, we have a beautiful girl here who has just decided to come over and help. Oh, why, thank you, Ala. We love you. Oh, this chick just totally stole our, our moment. So he is going to say hello, but I don't want him to lose this machine. Oh, that guy is in my way. No, okay, good. Look at these guys just hitting on Isla and Zayden's just over here letting it happen. But she walked away. She had two guys talking to her and she was like, um, no, you are not my hattie. Thank you. So thank gosh for that. Cause these two guys were like, did you see her? She was really cute. Oh no. But Zayden is so focused on making upgrade parts so he can help his sisters sell energy back to the energy company. Um, so he's really focused on that right now. Okay, we have our nine upgrade parts. I'm gonna have him, I want him to recycle uh, whatever we don't need. Okay, so I'm just gonna get him to recycle that stuff. Then he's gonna come over that in his inventory and nope he is not gonna bond with flies okay so Zayden just needs he just finished diving for a bunch of stuff and he found a lot of really good stuff but I am gonna have him recycle whatever isn't usable and then we're gonna send him back home because he's exhausted he's been working hard all day did Isla leave or did she stay Isla's left, so I do think that Zayden is going to have to um, make his m make his motives known sooner rather than later. I do think that she's going to uh, tell him pretty quick that she's not interested. So, 
Okay, so let's send Zayden home. He has worked so hard today. It's almost the next day. He's worked all through the night. Alrighty, you guys. So we are back home. Zayden stinks, so I'm gonna let him take a shower. Adeline's angry. So I guess we could let her go to her sister's room and try to calm herself down. Uh, Lexi's feeling great. She's happy. She's got great energy. She's got great hunger. So that's good. Uh, so she doesn't need anything. I guess I could get her to just uh, do some mopping around the house. That would be good. And since I'm here now, I'm going to have Lexi start practicing her speech. What level is she on now for her charisma? She's almost on level five. So she's working on that. This chick is knitting. Oh, where'd she go to knit? Aww. <laughs> Adeline has decided to do some more knitting, which is not great considering we really don't have a lot of money. Lexi's reached level five of charisma and Adeline has finished her next project. So let's list on Flopsy. And then she needs to finish her other project, the black and white beanie. You don't have to finish your movie, you go pee. Okay, so other than that, he's feeling pretty good. So now we can come over here and upgrade the self-lubricating gearbox using eco parts. So adds a self-lubricating gearbox to the wind tu turbine that ensures it never breaks. Zayden will have to use nine eco upgrade parts. So he's gonna come and upgrade that. And Adeline is now on level three of knitting. She can now knit furnishings, mailboxes with cozies and plant holders for everyone, huzzah. <laughs> We're gonna have the cutest little tiny houses. I'm so excited. So she's knitting away on her project and we still have Lexi working away on her charisma for as long as she will allow us to. She still wants to sell water or power on a utility bill. So if we go to our bill information, we're doing a little bit better. This was pretty high, but because we've made those upgrades on our, um, on our windmills and bought more windmills and also changed some of the materials we were using in our home, uh, that's starting to go down and becoming more of a, you know, becoming less of a minus. So that's really exciting. So hopefully soon we will be able to. So surplus power generated by solar panels and wind turbines. We should get her an actual solar panel when we start making more money. He's happy, he loves being a loner and he loves fixing things. So Zayden is in total heaven right now. Okay, so let's look in our inventory here and see what Zayden found when he was dumping through the, dumping through the divas. So he's got a poster here. Let's put the poster on the side. He's got a second poster. Oh, he's got another poster. Now look what he found, you guys. That bed is perfect for him. I'm a little nervous because it's a Murphy bed. Oh, it's covered in scratches. It's gonna make him so mad. How much is it to sell? 1,400. So we'll see. Let's put this in the inventory for now. I just wanna see how much would it cost us? 700, so it would still be quite a good price let's see if he comes in here let's see how mad he gets from the cat scratches he's happy right now he wasn't mad that's good okay i need you to upgrade this spring loaded because i don't want you uh <laughs> i don't want that to kill so Zayden got a new bed, that's very exciting. He's fixing it up, it is covered in scratches at the moment, but it is way nicer and it totally suits like the vibe of his house. So we're gonna sell the one that's in our inventory. Lexi, how are you doing? She is feeling uncomfortable, but she's feeling better now that she talked to her plant. Okay, good. And we still have this girl over here. Uh, Lexi working on her charisma, but she's been doing that long enough. Uh, go fertilize and then um, have a quick meal, have a ham and cheese sandwich. So let's look at the other stuff Zayden found us. So he found this awesome chair, which is great. 
because we need another chair for these guys. So I guess I could put it there. I don't know if they can use it. I'll put it maybe here so they can still get there. Look, we've got a microwave, but we don't have a countertop yet. But we have a microwave, so that's exciting. We've got a coffee pot and they got an oven. Oh my gosh, we got an oven. Is this eco though? Is it off the grid? Power consumption rating is two. It's not off the grid. So I might just sell it. Hmm. I would prefer for them to have off the grid because we're trying to sell back. Is this off the grid? No, so we're gonna sell it. Is this off the grid? No. Oh, well look you guys, we're rich now because we sold everything that's not off the grid that he found. Well, that's good. So maybe we can afford to buy a toilet now. That's probably the number one thing we should buy. But it works for now. And then we'll put that there. Okay, so at least now there's places for these guys to sit. And then we can put like this here and eventually we'll have like a kitchen counter and make a little kitchen space here. This is gonna change a lot once we start getting money. But the first thing we're gonna do right now, you guys, is we're gonna get a, another uh, solar panels that are good for our, good for the earth, good for our earth. Uh, and I guess for now, we can put it on top here. So I'm just gonna get some flooring for these guys. So I'll get that white one for him. That one looks good for you. And then maybe green for Lexi's. I guess black would look good in Lexi's too. Cause she's got a little bit of black in her siding. Okay. So that should be good. I don't wanna spend all the money that we have from selling. So what I've done is I've bought garbages. I bought Zayden new flooring. I bought all three of them new flooring. Uh, and then I also bought this here, which Zayden is going to upgrade as soon as he wakes up. Um, but I guess we need to delete our pea bush, that way they stop using it. Because, most importantly, I bought us a new toilet and some lighting for our little home. So, does that tell us now on our bills? Our power really went down because of our lights. Okay, we're getting rid of those lights. There we go. Whew. So no lights for these guys that aren't off the grid until we're making killer money. You know, with the remaining money, we might be able to, oh, I shouldn't have sold his bed. We could get a new roommate now. We have everything we need. Ooh, Zayden got a bike. Now everyone has a bike. Of course I find a toilet the minute. We buy one. Oh, that makes me so mad. Ooh, he got a new stove. And it looks like it might be um, off the grid. So in the morning, that's what we're going to do. We're gonna build another hut and we're gonna get some roommates. Adeline, not that I said she could, but she knitted this really cute hanging wall plant. How cute, it's so big. Let's put it outside of her house maybe. This is where she would want it. Okay, so let's come here. And this is one, two, three, four by one, two, three. So three by four. So we found a stove and by we I mean Zayden and I'm pretty sure it's off the grid. No, it's not off the grid. Ah, oh, that's so frustrating. So we're gonna sell that. He found a bed that is no good, so we're gonna recycle it. Um, we've made a new little hut. Let's put, and we found some photos and some posters. So Zayden's killing it. Um, in the, uh, I guess eventually we're gonna need two toilets, right? 
So we'll keep that because we'll eventually need more bathrooms. And we still have 2,200. Jeez, we're just killing it. We should get another solar panel. So now, I think if I go here, and I have a mod installed for LMS roommate service. So I'm gonna have him call that. Does Lexi stink? She does. Go take a shower. Okay, so Zayden is gonna call for roommate service here in a sec. So it's gonna let us choose someone. So I'm hoping I'll be able to choose one of your guys' sims that I have put into the world. Maybe we have to meet them first. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we are going to travel. Uh, we'll just send Lexi. Ooh, uh, Nathaniel is living with Isla. So we're gonna go visit Isla, and we're gonna meet Nathaniel, and we're gonna see if we can add him as a roommate. So we're at the apartment. Oh, perfect. So let's have her do a cheerful introduction to cute Nathaniel. Roommate, ask to be new roommate. There we go, that was easy. Thanks for the offer, but I already have a home. No, you don't. I think it's because I have it as marked as um, played. Okay, so now that we know him, that's fine. Ah, well, we tried. So let's go see Isla's place since we're here. I haven't actually been to the apartments yet, so it's a good opportunity. Oh, I think I went to the wrong one. Well, let's do a friendly, friendly introduction to Jill. This is another one of that simmers. So he made Jill and he also made uh, Kaylee. And he also made Nathaniel. Ask to chat with Nan Nathaniel. Nathaniel. I'll have her visit that apartment after she meets these girls. Uh, how cute are these sims? I love them so much. Oh look. He comes out of his apartment. Anyways, I want this cutie pie to be, um, how freaking cute is he? I want him to be Adeline's boyfriend so bad. You guys will have to let me know. He's freaking cute though, isn't he? Okay, he took off. So I guess we're just gonna go back home and <laughs> post an ad for our roommate because he, de he declined our request to be our roommates. So I tried to use, can you please calm down? Go calm yourself down. So I tried to use this um, LMS roommate service. Um, mod and it didn't really let me pick the people I wanted to. So I'm gonna have Adeline place an advertisement for a roommate and we'll just see who shows up. An advertisement has been placed for a new roommate. Fingers crossed for perfect for perfect roommates only. So we've got a bed available for our new roommate when they come, whoever that is. We have posted our ad. Nothing on Plopsy has sold yet. So that's a little frustrating. I think what we're gonna do first is we are going to invite Isla over just so they can get a little bit uh, more acquainted. So we'll invite her to come hang out and then I'm gonna have him put the bed up. Okay, so Isla's on her way. Okay, so Isla is here and she is so cute. So we're gonna have Zayden come over and he is going to be friendly and he is going to ask about her day. Oh, this one doesn't have a couch. Oh, that annoys me. So let's put the bed down so they can sit on the bed. Oh no, oh, oh. That didn't kill him, right? No, okay, stuck under bed. What is she asking? Anyway, so she just saw um, the bed fall on him. Okay, can you, his sisters are like, oh my God, there's a girl here, let's start, no. Uh, go practice your speech and you can, I don't know, can you go knit something? 
and please leave Zayden alone. Here, go knit objects. Uh, go knit us a male cozy. Ooh, what kind of cozy do we want? Pale green, I think. Yeah, pale green. You go get to work on that. Now, Zayden, you need to come sit together. Um, I want him to get to know her. Oh, he automatically got inspired. Share ideas. That sounds good. I think we know everything there is to know about her, don't we? Yeah, we do. Uh, romance. Uh, we asked her if she was single last time. Let's uh, just compliment her appearance. Just say, oh, you look so nice today. Hopefully it goes well. Yellow, oh, good. Okay, good. Oh, they got little love hearts. That's good. Uh, let's ask her to cloud gaze because that always helps. There. Look, she made herself this cute little hanging pink plant with the succulents. I love that. It totally makes sense for her, too. Oh, we've got stuff to sell. Can you please go sell all when you're done? So Zayden is having a really nice conversation with her. I guess they can't talk when they're cloud gazing, so I'll have them get up. He's so hungry, though. Ooh, they could watch a movie together. Let's have them watch a romantic movie together. Uh, watch movie with. Looks like uh, sex in the city, kind of. <laughs> yeah, they're checking out guys. I don't think they like it. Okay, I think it's time for you to go home because you are clearly having some awkward encounter going on there. I need to get going. By the way, you looked nice today. Okay, you guys, so I think we're going to leave this episode here. They have expanded their house. They've got a new house for someone to move into. They are just waiting to hear back from the ad that they placed. Um, Zayden was able to finish upgrading the first windmill, so that really helped us. So now, when you guys look at our bill information, we are super close to... Um, well, closer, I should say. I guess we need another water thing. So actually, let me do that right now. So yes, we got the new unit. We're waiting for a renter. We tried to kind of get to know Isla a little bit better. Things kind of went awkward. Um, we know her really well, but we haven't quite got there yet with flirting. So we're in a lot better place, you guys. We found a lot of fun furniture. Zayden was able to make some upgrades. We were able to get the new hut. So things are starting to really look up for these guys. I'm really looking forward to it. And hopefully soon, Zayden will also be able to get the courage together to not be embarrassed and to actually ask out the girl that he likes. Um, but at least he tried. He did almost get killed by his bed so I don't blame him. Anyway, so if you guys enjoyed this episode, please give it a thumbs up and let me know in the comments what you guys think. I'd love to hear all of your thoughts. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing some of your sims today. And with all that being said, you guys, I'm gonna say bye for now.